Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I look a bit different today. Uh, barely got any makeup on. I just wanted to come and do a bit of a quick update on life and I don't know, just to come and talk to you. I've been really busy with unpacking and I haven't been doing that much unpacking to be honest. But I have been busy just with the new flat and just trying to get everything ordered and so many things going wrong. Not so many things. Okay, I got the wrong mattress. Well, I didn't get the wrong mattress. They sent me the wrong mattress. I have been filming. Um, I do have a video about my investment update coming I just editing it's really the worst part of YouTube <laughs> I think I realized this week and last week that that's probably the the part for me that is probably the most difficult and I just want to be real honest with you about that um because I've been doing YouTube for a long time so yeah Editing's always been a bit of a struggle. Usually I'm just like on top of it and I'm okay, I can get it done. But my laptop is very slow. I need a new MacBook. I bought it in 2012 when I was in Korea and it's just really slow and it takes forever to do the simplest task. So in the last couple of years, it's been really like, or in at least the last year specifically, because my laptop actually erased itself last year like last late last year which was devastating because i lost all my photos and if you don't know um i spent most of my 20s doing photography so <laughs> anyways let's not talk about that while wow, there's an actual genuine tear like brewing anyways but my laptop's super slow everything takes really long to do and it's frustrating and it's annoying and yeah i'm just I don't want to pay money for a new laptop right now, so at the end of the year, I'll be getting a new laptop. Until then, <laughs> until then, I have to just kind of stick it out. But yeah, I get really frustrated when I'm editing on it. I'm now using iMovie. Lots of different things happening. <laughs> but yeah, so I've been filming. I've been filming some vlog stuff um, for my other channel, uh, which I'm eventually going to put together. It's so much footage, I don't even know really what I'm going to do about that. Um, and I have filmed an investment update, which I will bring to you guys. But I just wanted to sit down and do this quick little um, video that is less what's the word, put together, uh, less editing and just kind of easier for me to get out to you and to explain where I am. I'm very quality driven, I'm a bit, I won't say OCD, but I am a bit particular about things, it has to be perfect. I'm working, <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm trying to just be like, just do it, I mean, just put it out there. Who cares if it's perfect or not? Who cares what it looks like? Who cares if the editing's a bit janky? Like, accept what it is. <laughs> At least it's there. At least it's out there. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> But other than that, doing pretty good. Things are good at home. The flat is coming together. We have a bed, we have a mattress, which we're sending back. We're not, this is not our mattress. It's so annoying. Well, I guess I'll tell you about this mattress, right? Got this mattress from Dunham. And it all sounded great. The mattress turned up. I was like, hmm, looks a bit different. Opened it. Sure enough, this mattress has no branding. It doesn't look like the mattress that I ordered. And I'm like, there is no way that this mattress is the same mattress. I can feel the coils on the outside, so I'm like, this is not pocket sprung. I'm like, <laughs> there's no way this mattress is the same mattress that I ordered from Dunham. And I was just really annoyed because our frame was here, our frame had just arrived, and I was just like, oh great, I got the frame, I got the mattress, now we can have our bed. Nah. So I put in a request for a refund and then I just ordered the original mattress we were gonna get from Ikea because funnily enough, that day a slot popped up and for the last three months anytime I go on Ikea I had to wait like three or four weeks before I get any big items delivered which is really frustrating I was just I couldn't wait that amount of time to be fair if I'd ordered it all the way back then then it would have been here by now but that's not the point <laughs> when you see that that wait time you're like nah I'm all right I'll go find somewhere that does it in one week or in a like two days but yeah that's what you get for something because it's literally sitting in the office right now because um, we have our frame in the other room and obviously our air mattress and there ain't no space for this just janky ass mattress so <laughs> so it's the wrong mattress I put in for a refund haven't heard anything back apparently could take up to five business days that was a few days ago we'll see um, but yeah they're taking this back because I have mad allergies and this mattress has no labeling on it I do not trust anything that doesn't come with a branded label on it if I bought a brand I am not a branded person, but I want to know what I bought. So if something arrives and it has no branding on it and it just says cool touch, no, I'm not touching that with a barge pole because I have really bad allergic rhinitis. And it, unless I, there's no way for me to know this bed is hyperallergenic, there's no way for me to know what the 
um, what the material composition of this bed is too. So they're taking it back, and that's it. <laughs> the end. <laughs> because I'm not, I'm not gonna put myself, yeah, through that um, for a mattress when I could just go and buy another one. So. Hopefully they respond soon and come and take this out of the office because I had to like do some kind of shimmying just to film this video. Um, but yeah, that's really kind of where we're at here. Ooh, tomorrow our uh, mattress, new mattress and sofa are arriving. I'm very scared because the sofa we got, like I love the color of the sofa, at least online. And I'm just like, oh my God, I hope it, it's not super, super light. Like, I have this feeling it's gonna be like almost white, and I'm like, oh my god, can we have an almost white sofa? We don't have kids, we don't have pets, we don't have any children really around. I'm a messy eater, but that's besides the point. But I am a bit worried about spillage, I'm like, but it's machine washable, so I'll show you guys that when that arrives. Um, but other than that, yeah, I've just been trying to like get back on track with life, and I don't know. I feel like the lockdown kind of set me back a lot and I'm just kind of playing catch up with myself, came playing catch up with the world and playing catch up with life, which doesn't feel the best. Um, and I'm always feeling like I'm not productive enough. Today I got through all of the stuff in the corner of the living room, finally. Um, so that's gone now and it's just empty and I'm like, oh, small wins. And I'm like, oh my God, I still got so much to do. So I'm trying to accept the small wins and celebrate the small wins rather than concentrating on huge like projects and huge like plans. I'm just trying to zone in on the things I've done, the accomplishments, accept it, move on. Um, I've actually finalized, I told you guys I was gonna do a budgeting video and it wasn't really ready because I hadn't really finalized the budgeting um, spreadsheet. Like, I had my budgeting spreadsheet, but it's like, it's it was just super, what's the word? I wanna call it rustic, <laughs> rough around the edges. It's It was super functional for me, but no one else would probably understand it. So I just wanted to clean it up and make it look um, more understandable so when I talk about it it will make sense and anyone who hasn't seen a video about it would understand it too but yeah so I've, I've done that and um, I'll hopefully be filming that video soon I know it's been like let's not even talk about how long I said I was gonna do that but yeah procrastination I, I was thinking today procrastination is the thief of productivity <laughs> just wanted to come say hi and let you know what was happening and give you an update and yeah things are okay <laughs> we're loving a new flat this is oh you guys seen the corner for the first time this is the um the i put the camera down moved the bed out of the way and decided to film corner but it'll look prettier in the next video <laughs> but today yeah i was just like let's do this okay i hope you're all doing well in this whole, I don't know, situation. Whatever your city, what is your city situation right now? Are you guys still in lockdown? Are you guys going back into lockdown? Um, right now, I don't know, the UK seems like it's about to just let open all the doors and everyone's going flying out, everyone's making plans, and I'm just like, I'm not ready. <laughs> is it bad that I don't wanna go outside too much? Is that bad? I feel guilty about that, which is weird, because it's like, we're not really supposed to be going out that much, but I'm like, I don't really wanna go outside. <laughs> I don't know why, it's weird, it's weird. But yeah, I'm trying to push myself to go out more, at least to get air and stuff. But yeah, social, big social gatherings, I'm just like, ooh, a bit about. But it's been really nice to see people. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to have human connection. But I will see you guys soon, hopefully, with a, a new video on my investments. So that's fun and exciting if you're interested in that. If not, I'll see you in a video after that. Um, which will probably be, I don't even know yet. So I'm not even gonna say what I think it's gonna be because I have no idea, <laughs> it's not filmed. But thank you for sticking around. If you stuck around to the end, you're awesome. Thank you. And um, I, oh, the sun is starting to do something so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I didn't even color balance this video. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't do the white balance on my video. To be fair, no, yeah, I didn't do the white balance on my video. I have no excuse. Whatever I was gonna say was just a moot point. But I will see you guys soon. Take care, <laughs> bye. Oh my God, what if the mic isn't on? Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, let's not.